Y'all, so I'm sitting up here watching YouTube and having a glass of wine. And I have two people that I have to tell y'all about. I know that I love Restoration Hardware. That is the vibe that I'm going for in my place. We don't have a Restoration Hardware here in Jacksonville. I think the closest one to me is in Tampa. Um, but even if they had a Restoration Hardware, I probably wouldn't shop in there that often because... It is very expensive. So Home Goods is a very good place to find different restoration hardware dupes. And so I was sitting here on my couch and I typed in like restoration hardware inspired living rooms, stuff like that. And this girl, her name is DIY with KB. Y'all have to follow her. She is so good. First of all, she already made me fall out twice because this girl knows how to, well, she's not a girl, she's a whole woman, <laughs> but she, she ripped out her tub and did a complete makeover on her tub, on her, on her shower. I was shook. That was the first thing that took me out. Then she had these, she had these picture lights took me clean out I have to get that so it looks so good we have a lot of the same pieces too like the um, mirrors that we have from Ikea she has that I noticed that she had um that bowl that I just got from at home she has that um what else I mean she had a, a she had some nice stuff and obviously because we into the same thing so um, I had went back because what I like to do anytime I find somebody that um, I enjoyed their first video and then I watch a couple and I decided I'm going to subscribe to their channel. What I like to do is go back and watch some old videos just so I can get to know that person. Everything just looks so nice. And the video that she put out today, there's this picture, Pottery Barn, and everybody has that picture. And she did a DIY on that picture today. That was the video that she put out today. I wanted that picture. I, when I went in Pottery Barn, that was the picture that I was looking for. But it's been sold out for a while. So this is her page right here. DIY with KB. Y'all have to follow her. Y'all thank me later. Okay, that's all I got to say. Thank me later. <laughs> but this is the video that she posts today. And this is the picture from Pottery Barn. And this is the one that she created that she DIY'd. It looks really good, right? She did a really good job. She is so lit. I'll go follow her channel. Tell her that I sent y'all. My other best friend, I was sitting up here. I was just typing, just, you know, going through the channels and I came across, he is my new best friend. His name is Arvin Alano. That is my best friend, okay? Same style because he popped up when I typed in Restoration Hardware. He is so hilarious and fabulous. And he is my YouTube best friend. Look at That's him. Arvin. He is so fabulous. <laughs> Love him. Very, very good channel, y'all. So y'all follow him as well. Let him know that I sent you. So my Amazon package finally came in. I wanted to show you guys this package on yesterday. But I received a message from Amazon saying that it was going to be late. So we're going to go ahead and open it up. ordered some new canisters and if you guys follow me on Instagram you've already seen one of them because one came by itself so this is just probably like the smallest one look I thought this was really cute I just was getting a little bored with the canisters that um, I had on my counter and I wanted to do something a little different something that I don't see all the time and one late night, I was 
on Amazon and came across these and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to have these. So I thought they were really cute. So this one came in a set of three for I think about $51. And then I had to buy a separate one. Um, and that one was $21. So here they are. And I love them, y'all. I think they look so good. Let me bring them over here with the other one. Here's the other one. I already have some rice in this one. And this is my old canister. I just have this up because I'm going to put some oatmeal, probably some almonds. Um, let me grab these. Let me grab these two. Uh... So I had to have four. So these are actually the same size. And yeah, I love them. So they're gonna, I'm gonna have them up here like, just like I had the last ones, but you know, just a little different. So I think they're gonna look real good. So I'm going to wash them out and I'm going to add the oatmeal, almonds, and maybe like some quinoa or something like that to um, the small one. So yeah, and move this out the way. And I'll show y'all, this is just like a little bowl that I just set up here just for like my potatoes until I find, um, you know, like a cute little fruit basket. So I just have, so just, just ignore this. It's my sweet potatoes. I got to throw this banana. Let me throw this banana out. Cause Tony took this banana crabbing with him and forgot it in his book bag. And it's just been sitting up there. And I, I put my sweet potatoes on top. So he probably forgot that it was in there, but this thing is done. <laughs> so I'm going to throw that out. But, um, yeah. Love it. It's going to look so good. And y'all know I'm into the minimal look. I don't like a lot of stuff going on. So, some people might say, well, you need to add such and such. No. So, yeah. I probably have it something like this. It's going to just look really good. I'm so happy with it. So, let me go ahead and clean these out. And then I'll show you guys once I'm done with everything. Here is my table that I am loving so much. I took the mirror down because I just could not get my vision together with that mirror up there. So I went ahead and pulled it down. Tony don't know I pulled it down yet. He probably gonna be mad because he's like making all these holes in the wall, but we're gonna get something up there. I wish I had enough room for like a cute little buffet behind there, but I don't because if I was to put a buffet behind the table, um, you know, you wouldn't really have any room to sit because this area is not that big, but I would have to have something really big because the ceilings are really, really high. So, um, but I love this little area. It's just so cute. So, it's coming together, y'all. I think for me to only be in here a month, I think I've done a lot. <laughs> so, it's coming together. Yeah, so I'm getting ready to cook my cauliflower. I like to have my cauliflower boiled, so I'm gonna just do like some cauliflower and some shrimp. I wanted to do um, like some buffalo cauliflower is really what I wanted to do, but I don't have everything I need. And then even with the spiced oven roasted cauliflower that's in this cookbook, I don't have everything that I need. So I said, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna do it the way that I like to do it. I've done um, the cauliflower mac and cheese, the cauliflower mash, and it's always so good. But this time I'm just gonna have some regular, nicely seasoned cauliflower.
Good morning, y'all. Happy Thursday. So right now I'm getting ready to make a Costco run because I need to get um, some king crab for my mukbang channel. And then a lot of you guys have been asking me to take you guys in uh, Hobby Lobby. Now Hobby Lobby is not a place that I would typically go when I'm looking for home decor. That's more like a spot, well for me, it's more like a spot when I'm looking for, say like some plants or um, you know, if I want to do some type of DIY, then I'll go to Hobby Lobby. But it's right across the street from Costco, so if it's not too crowded, I'll go in there. And I'm also going to Home Goods, of course, because you guys know that I am still on the hunt for something for that wall. I'm also on the hunt for my rug, and I need to go in there as much as I can to find the good stuff. So it is about 9:45. it'll take me about 15 minutes to get to the home goods that's on my side of town so i'll be there i should be there um around 10 o'clock right when they open and i can try to see what i can find so um where else i wanted to go to um take a look in pottery barn again and west elm but i think that they closed down west elm i'm not too sure because the last time that i went over that way I didn't see West Elm so I'm just like I don't know but we'll see so let's go shopping all right y'all so we're pulling up the home goods it's a lot of people out here I'm about 30 minutes late oh the parking lot don't look too full this side part over here does so so hopefully they have some good stuff some new stuff take off my lip gloss because the last time I was out and put my mask on I forgot I had lip gloss on I had lip gloss all over my face Alright y'all, so they didn't have anything that I was looking for in home goods, but they did have some cute pieces, so that's why I still was showing you guys um, those cute dressers, and they're now doing like same day delivery or something like that, so I thought that was pretty cool, but um, the earlier you go, the less people are in there. I think it was probably like eight people in there, maybe, so love that, but I'm sad that I didn't find what I was looking for.
goods for $12.99. Now y'all see what I mean about Hobby Lobby. It's giving me farmhouse tees. Like, it's, I mean, sometimes, you know, they change their decor in there. It's not always like that. Like, sometimes you might be able to find something cute. But for me, I like going in there for, like, frames, flowers, you know, stuff like that. So, y'all asked and I delivered. All right, I'm back home. As you guys know, I didn't have any luck today, but it's okay. Like I always say, take your time to make sure that you pick out the perfect pieces for your home because you don't want to just grab anything just to fill up the space and then you regret it later and then you end up with a lot of stuff. So we're going to take our time and we'll go again maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Let me show you guys what I picked up from Costco's. I picked up some fresh cod. I've never had this before, so I want to try this. Looks really good. I did some, I picked up a bag of shrimp, some fresh salmon, fresh wild salmon. I'm trying to stay away from the farmed meat. This one is also wild caught. And then I picked up two packs of the king crab. The road show was the first through the third and I missed it. The bigger king crabs are always um, in the pack, in the box, but I just don't have the room to buy the box right now. So this is everything that I picked up from Costco's. So I haven't had anything to eat yet. Um, it is now 12.10, so I need to fix me some lunch. I'll probably do um, maybe like a piece of salmon and a salad today. And then I'm gonna, uh, I really wanna make some sushi tonight for dinner. But the lady told me at the Asian market that they won't have um, the nori until Friday. So we'll probably have like a big sushi meal. I'm gonna make a lot of different stuff. We'll have some clear soup. We'll have the cucumber crab salad. We'll have some edamame. I'm gonna do the whole nine. And I'll go ahead, I will film myself making the sushi as much as I can because I do have to like try to focus to make it. But I'll show y'all like the basic stuff uh, whenever I do make it. So hopefully I'll make some either tomorrow for Saturday's vlog or I'll vlog it on Saturday and you guys will see it on Saturday. So hopefully. So I'm gonna do this piece of salmon for lunch. I don't like buying the ones that have the skin still on it, but they didn't have any that was um, skinless. So I have to try to cut this off because it grosses me out, like serious. And I messed this fish up so freaking bad because I don't know how to cut the cat dag on skin. Oh, look at this. Ugh. Now when Tony did it, he was able to just grab it and pull. Let me start it off. Start it off. Oh gosh. Wait. Wait. Okay. Shoot. Hell. I am losing so much meat by doing this. 
Okay, I, I can't. I gotta let Tony do this. So let me go ahead and end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all on the next one. Love y'all.